Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel e-commerce project tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about edit the coupon. So let's see how can we edit the coupon. For that, go to the admin controller. So just go inside the app directory. Then HTTP controllers, let's open the admin controller. And here let's create a new function. Public function and function name which is coupon edit. And inside this, just pass here one argument which is dollar $ID. And now, uh, let's fetch the coupon according to this ID. Okay, so right here, dollar $coupon is equal to model coupon find and pass here the ID, dollar $ID. And now, uh, let's return the view which is admin dot coupon dash edit and inside the compact is pass in the coupon ok now save this and now let's create the route for this so go to the routes directory and open web.php and here let's create a new route route colon colon get and add here the URI admin slash coupon slash parameter which is id then edit ok now add here the controller name admin controller then class and function name which is coupon underscore edit and now give the route name admin dot coupon dot edit ok now let's copy the route name and save the file and now let's open the coupons.play.php file so from the sources directory views admin and let's open this one coupons.play.php and here inside this let's add here the route inside the edit link route and route name which is this one admin dot coupon dot dot edit and now just pass here the id dollar coupon arrow id ok now save this now let's create this view so go to the admin view folder here let's create a new file coupon dash edit dot blade dot php ok now let's open this and now let's open this one coupon add dot blade dot php file and from here let's select all the content copy and paste here now change your other text edit coupon ok and uh, inside the value just remove this and add here double curly bracket dollar coupon arrow code and let's copy this and display here the value part value and here for expiry date ok so right here the value cart underscore value and expiry date ok and for this one just add here a uh, ternary operator dollar coupon arrow type is equal to if type is equal to fixed then uh, add here selected otherwise blank ok now let's copy and paste here inside this option and change the value here percent ok set the file
okay now let's create another function inside the admin controller so right here public function and function name which is open underscore update and inside this let's pass here the request dollar request okay and now here let's validate the input field so then copy and paste here and uh, also copy this line of code and paste here now just remove this u new and here from coupon let's find according to id okay so right here dollar request arrow id and then assign the code value to the code type to type and value to value and cart value to cart value expire date to expire date okay then save and after that just redirect to the coupons page and uh, here change the message coupon has been updated okay now save this now uh, here inside the edit page view page uh, let's add here a hidden field so right here input type is equal to hidden and name is equal to id okay and value set the value of the coupon id so right here coupon arrow id now close this save the file all right now it's done so let's check this okay so switch to the browser and just refresh the page all right now let's edit this one okay so edit and you can see here the value let's change the value of code coupon code so let's add here the 20 fixed and dollar 20 dollar if card value is equal to or greater than 400 okay and also change the expiry date Let's uh, August August 31. Okay. Now save, and you can see here. Okay, it's created the new report. All right. One mistake I have. Mm, let's change the action okay so let's copy this okay i have not created a route uh, for this function so let's create the route first so here inside the web.php file just right here route and this time for updating put method and then admin slash coupon okay slash update and now we have the controller team and new controller class and function name this one and route name admin dot coupon dot update okay now let's copy this and uh, set the file and now inside the coupon edit blade inside this action just change here the route name okay and also put here the method directive method put okay now save the file and let's change now let's check so just refresh the page now let's edit uh, this one, 
change the uh, change the code here and let's say 100 fixed uh, 100 dollar if card value is greater than 1000 okay now click on save and this time you can see here it's updated with new value okay and here is the success message so in this way you can edit the coupon so that's all about editing the coupon so thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching